All right. You're with Biff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? Doing the intro. You're not. Why? Stealing it. It's my garage. Just because you're back, you didn't come in to steal the intro. Absolutely. Just a quick outline of today. I've got a new bit of equipment we're going to look at and have a little play with. But as you're back, people have been asking about you, mate. Uh, you're back out soon. I'm trying to get out of shot. I know, yeah, but you're back out. Can you stop? People want to yes, care. Yes, we're back out soon. We people, will. Well, people I care. will be. I, will, I might drop something in there saying we. Ooh. I will be going to Grand Canary and Tenerife. Okay, they're the next two. Yep. Start of the season. Been. Yep. Been. Next. Well, the season start, I wouldn't know. Um, Look, we've been out, we've been out a couple of times. To me, and I know you're getting pretty good, it's looked solid, solid as, mm -hmm. really. But tournament-wise, the start of the season, just took you a bit to get back into it, it? On to today's video. Being Wilson staff advisory staff, say staff a few more times. Show me hair now, look at that. <laughs> I'm so happy I get to shave mine off. Look at that. See, advisory staff. Have you got your name on the back of yours? No, I haven't, I'm, I'm not that important. You like our opinion on some of the gear? See, it's meant to have your name on it. Someone's calling you. Oh. Wow. Oh. Three wood. Is that D9? Wilson, D9, 15 degree. I want to compare my own three wood, which I use, which is a tailor-made M2 2017, which is him. It's got grass stains on it. It's got grass, it has actually got grass stains on it. And also roof marks here. Why well, has it got roof marks out? Because I've roofed it. Off uh, the tee or out the semi? Uh, out the rough that was, yeah. I'll, I'll let you off with that one, that's easy to do. Yeah, that was out the rough that. Don't get me wrong, my three wood is very, very good. Probably one of the strongest clubs in my bag. If I was gonna say one thing about my three wood, sometimes it comes out no spin and just kind of dips out the sky or goes absolutely miles. But having said that, I hate it very straight normally, don't I? Very little changes in flight, doesn't really slice or hook, it's pretty straight. Look, I said it was straight. I said it went straight, look at that, bosh. Which is a really good thing, certainly off the tee, because I feel like I can trust it. Sometimes if I need to shape it around trees or something, which sometimes happens, <laughs> it's not great at moving it, but it's kind of like a sacrifice I'm happy with. Straight Ooh. fat, straight and fat, I told you. Straight, carries 250. Not necessarily looking for a new three wood, but I'm just gonna try this D9, see what we think about the head. Have a look at some of the Trackman numbers. Now, it's just been sent to me. Wisdom Biff's got his glasses on for the, uh, for the stats. That's and all that key. Sort of stuff. It's been sent to me with a Project X Evenflow 6.5 X Flex. Not been fitted for it, uh, you know, it's just, Duncan sent it me, that's a shaft they had in the truck, so no idea whether it's right for me or not. My M2 has been fitted for me, which may be why it's really good, but we'll just try and get some numbers on the head and, and basically, it's pretty much it, see what it's like. Yeah? Nice. You get out and backwards, it's got your name on it. Yeah, just in case everyone forgets who I am. Pathetic. It's a lovely shape. Really nice shape. It does look good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, it's classic. Black detail, a little bit of orange sort of highlight around the back of it, nice. One thing, yeah, that's why I like pretty plain golf clubs. You can see it's there's not loads going on or one solid colour. I like that. Like if I was a footy boot type person, like Copa Mundials all day, not like pink jobbies up your ankles, like I'd be Copa Mundial all day and these are sort of more kind of your Copa Mundial of golf clubs. Fucking rubbish on that. <laughs> it feels. It actually feels a little heavier. Oh, okay. Pretty straight again. Slightly different sound. Yeah, it is. It's more metally. It's a good that adjective that mate. Good word. <laughs> more tingy. Yeah, more tingy. More ting. That felt good. Good strike. Look at that swing speed. 105.5. They did say he felt heavier. Yeah. Don't need to hit many more with this as we're warmed up. I just want to hit a couple just to get a feel for it and then we'll hit some and get the numbers. A little draw jobby. I do prefer that metal noise, you know. I know it's not like 
priority, like I take something that goes where I want it to go, but I do like that sound. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Quite good to know, actually. I've not really done this with me three wood. Like, actually looked at the data. So it's quite a good exercise, this for me. I want to know why it goes straight. Obviously, these go all over the shop now. So, go with my own first. TaylorMade M2, 15 degree, grass stains, speeder, 757, tall spec X Flex. You've got to take notes now. Yeah, I've got. I've got the, the notebook, it's a Paul Smith notebook, which I got it for Christmas. Like is ridiculous that he's got a notebook by Paul Smith. I, I, as you would, I'd crossing out Smith and just writing wearing on every single page, just that's to wind him up. Doing, that. Yeah, yeah, that's all I've been doing. Right, yeah, take notes. So, we'll just hit a few shots so we get some decent data on it. Quite good to know, actually, I've not really done this with me three wood. Like, actually looked at the data. So it's quite a good exercise this for me. I want to know why it goes straight. Obviously these go all over the shop now. So go with my own first. Just try and get four or five good shots to get the numbers. A little up the right. Yeah, absolutely nailed that. Oh, it's turned left a lot, what? Not a lot, but turn left quite a bit and nailed that. Yeah, speeds up at 112.3 with that. 265 carry, 163.5 ball speed. It's good with the three wood that, isn't it? It is, to be fair, your spin rate's not astronomical either. Absolutely smashed. Not hitting it better than that. Oh, I think that's enough for that one then. 274 carry. Total 304. Club speed 111.1. That's as good as I'm in three with that. So you can kind of see why I'm not sort of in the market to be changing me three with a while ago. I kind of was, but because I wanted something that could shape a bit more, but kind of prioritise that fact that it does go straight and Good distance, like good speeds, aren't they then? I'm, I'm going to jump in at this point. The only one negative you do have is the spin is on the slightly low side. Okay. That is the only thing with it, which is why it goes so hot sometimes, which is great. But sometimes with three, would you need to hit it over water as it or carry it onto a par five. And if you haven't quite got the angle of descent right with a little bit, you know, not quite enough spin, it's a little bit too hot, especially coming out the semi. It might not flight correctly, it might come out with a little flyer, blah, blah, blah. So that's the only slight downside, that's, but it's actually really stable. It's a great three with that. That's what, that's what happens sometimes if I'm in like the semi, especially if it's a little bit damp, it can come out and it literally like, I can strike it good and it'll carry like 220, it'll almost just sort of dip out the sky. It's already spinning quite low and then the moisture and a bit of grass between it sort of takes even more spin off and it just doesn't stay in the air. So. Like I said, that's not many criticisms of that three wood, but that's probably it, really. Same thing with the Wilson, let's get some numbers on this. I'm interested to see that club speed though, you know. So you've already said it feels, yeah. does it feel heavier in dead weight or when you're swinging it? Yeah, probably in, I mean, dead weight. Probably more when I'm swinging it, to be honest, they feel pretty similar. So it might be just a little bit heavy in swing weight. I mean, why do I have a hit driver, to be fair? 158 ball speed, straight away. Club speed, 106.2. It's like five to six mile an hour down, just on that first shot, although I just swung that slow. Felt like a good move, felt great off the face as well, that. That is ripped. Absolutely ripped. 163 ball speed, that is very good. And from 108.4 mile an hour club speed. I tell you what, when Wisdom Biff, when Wisdom Biff's back here, I think we're gonna have some interesting numbers. A bit right. A bit right of centre. <laughs> 
106.1 club speed. Being completely honest, but, and you know, I don't, if you've watched before, I don't really like building my own confidence, but I feel like I'm swinging at the best I've swung it for quite a long time. I guess these three wood shots are kind of showing it because I'm hitting it pretty straight. Little awkward bit of boosting my own confidence out of the way. Felt good. Stay straight. Stay straight. Stay straight. Stay in the fairway. 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 Oh. oh, it's back in. Back in fairway, that. Felt good. Felt good, felt very good. 107.7 .7 ball speed, 259 carry. Very good, that feels very nice off the face that. So you even said yourself, didn't you, that it felt a little bit heavier in swing weight? Yeah. Yeah, so that will account for the little lack of club speed. So you've Wisdom. lost. Wisdom! Well, your quickest with the M2 was 112 mile an hour. Your quickest with the Wilson was only 108, so you lost four mile an hour in peak. And again, yeah, your slowest with the M2 was 109, your slowest with the Wilson was 106. Three or four mile an hour down in club speed. But this actually says how good this head is. Your greatest smash factor with the M2 was 1.48. Okay. So smash factor is your ball speed divided by club speed. Or your club speed divided by ball speed. Yeah, ball speed divided by club Whichever speed. Whichever yeah. one that is, I can't yeah. remember. So the best you achieved with M2 was 1.48. The worst with the Wilson was 1.48. Oh. The worst with the M2 was 1.46. And oh. the worst with the Wilson was 1.48. The best with the Wilson was 1.50. So it's showing that the head is really, really efficient. It's transferring so much energy to the golf ball because the ball speed's very, very quick. The ball speed's very similar to the M2, even with a slower swing speed. You also just said it felt a bit soft. Yeah. So the Wilson, again, you've had one spinning at nearly 4,000 RPM there. Now what happens sometimes when you spin the ball, when the ball's over spinning, it starts off a little bit lower, uh, it climbs and it stalls. Now if you've got a bit of wind into you, if you imagine when it does that, it's stalling, it's not carrying on going forward. What you actually want is a bit more of a higher launch and lower spin so it does that through the air so when the wind's against it it's still going forward if you've got too much spin like i say it just takes a little bit off it and that creates so if you imagine it's peak height it's then falling to the floor the angle of attack sorry the landing angle of the ball is too steep which is what you're seeing with the wilson so you're getting up to like 50 odd degrees with the wilson it's going to be more to do with that because the spin's too high you're launching it very similar to M2, but it's climbing to a higher peak height, stalling and then falling out of the air. Now, sometimes, like we said earlier, into par fives, blah, 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 that's actually a good thing, especially if you're trying to carry it over a hazard and stop it. You need a balance between the two, but looking at it, I think a tweak of the shaft, maybe more. slightly lighter in swing, in club, um, swing, weight. In swing weight, and maybe something a little bit stronger in the tip of that shaft yeah that's kind of what i felt at the bottom there's a bit of a, a kick yeah. which i guess is, is making it climb basically what you're saying there because the smash factor is measuring efficiency mm. is i'm getting out of the wilson you get more get out more of the wilson ball speed, more ball speed per mile an hour yeah as, which to be honest with you that tell me it feels very very fast so that's that's impressive that's interesting you know a, a three wood off the deck with a 1.5 smash. Yeah, again, that's a good head. It before, it's like driver numbers, isn't it? Mm. And your angle of attack has stayed, stayed very, very similar. You know, just down at it, maybe you've had one at 0, 0.0, half a degree down. So nothing's really changed in that area. And again, the ball speed's been quite consistent. I think there's a shaft. I think the shaft might be a little bit too heavy, maybe, but yeah. then a little bit too soft in the tip. So if you can find something with a little bit, Maybe, maybe even that shaft tipped, or maybe try something else. I think that would be uh, it'd be interesting to try and uh, to try right, and test yeah. that. Paul's probably a good um, probably a good example of this. Is he? You stay in stuff for a long time, don't you? You know, if you've got something that works for you, it's very easy to go. Oh, something new. Let's just get something new and shove it in the bag. But something that works is massively important and testing it and make sure that it does, not just getting something because it's new, is um, something that I'd say make sure that you do. Certainly when it comes to something you can rely on off the tee, which is kind of where I'm at with mine. So 
like I said before, it's not like I've set out to get a new three wood, but that's kind of, yeah, it's made me think that because it's very, very efficient, isn't it? What Sounds saying, lovely. I'm just vandalizing you, don't Oh, you're doing that again, mate. It's too late anyway, it's gone, isn't it? It's yeah. gone. It's interesting, that though. Very good. Yeah, I liked it. Good to have you back, mate. Lovely to be back. Yeah, it's good to have you back. I hope people have enjoyed the Biff being back. Um, so we're going to get out on the course a bit more now, aren't we? Now we're allowed. Yeah, we've got some some solid things that we've been thinking about on our walk, daily walk for a coffee. We've been having quite a bit. Been enjoyable. We live like round the corner from each other, by the way. So hence mom, why he just turns up at my house. There's every day like a, a WhatsApp, right? Coffee this time, yeah. Walk up the road, get a coffee. It's been nice. That was actually that was setting the world to rights. Having a little walk, bring the dog, bring the dog. Been romantic. Bring the dog, yeah. I had a nightmare with the dog yesterday. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's a different story, that. It's pretty much it. All in all, it's not it. it, it's not it, it's not it. Oh, it's not it. Hang on, what are you doing now? It, this, is, this is it, but then there's a bit more. What? Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday. I have, I have a new sign off. How do you? Yeah, yeah. Like, you just sort of hit it and then smash! And it's hit, but it doesn't matter properly. It doesn't matter that you just go like, glove off, glove off, glove off. You slam it and then you just sort of walk off. And then the net's in, the net's in the way. The net's in the way. The net's in the way. You just walk off. Thank you. I don't know why I choose to be friends with him. Like you've got other options. What are you doing now? Shut up. Have you been watching? And then being like, oh, I need to change it all. Well, I can just see the flexion in it. It's doing me head in. Noodle. Pool noodle. You're a CPG. A pool noodle? Yeah. Okay. It's key. It's key to every good... Uh, Sounds. Coach. Push. Push pool noodle over. Oh. Push pool noodle over. Push. No. Yes, did. Got to get power butt. Pushing pool noodle over. Power butt. Got it. Got it. Got it.